What's up, everyone? Andy with the Heartland Institute, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So today, I thought I'd talk about the polar vortex and cold spells. So first, what is the polar vortex? Well, check out this picture and let's talk about it. The polar vortex is a large area of low pressure and cold air surrounding the Earth's north and south poles. The term vortex refers to the counterclockwise flow of air that helps keep the colder air close to the poles. Often during winter in the northern hemisphere, the polar vortex will become less stable and expand, sending cold arctic air southward over the United States with the jet stream. So let's look at a less stable polar vortex. We can see on this image that the jet stream is weakened and it's allowing cold air to move south. This is not just confined to the United States, it also happens in portions of Europe and Asia. So the reason we're talking about this today, outside of just learning about the polar vortex, is that many climate alarmists say that global warming is leading towards a less stable polar vortex, and thus more cold spells, cold days, and cold nights. Now, what's interesting about this is it leads towards a win-all situation for climate alarmists. If it's too hot, global warming. If it's cold, global warming. If there's a storm, global warming. It literally means global warming is every single weather event that's possible. There's, there's, there's no not like weather event that's not global warming. But this isn't true. So the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, reports that it is very likely that there have been fewer cold days and nights in recent decades. More, the IPCC reports it is virtually certain that there will continue to be decreases in cold temperature extremes. So extreme cold spells always have occurred and always will occur. They are not a sign of catastrophic global warming, and they are not a sign that we need overbearing climate policy to prevent it from being cold. So the argument that climate change is leading towards more cold weather due to an unstable polar vortex is not true. It's a tactic so that if it's cold out, they can still say, oh, it's due to global warming, which is primarily anthropogenic, which it is not. Humans do have an influence on the climate, don't get me wrong, but it is not primarily humans that are driving the climate. So this is Andy with the Heartland Institute. Go to climaterealism.com. If you haven't, check out climateataglance.com. You can read about the polar vortex there. And until next time, peace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.